Yogi, how are you? My name is Crystal Gray. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you what vinyasa is and how you would teach it. Make sure that you subscribe and you push the little bell so that you get notified each week when I post a new video. And don't forget to grab your freebies. I've got some amazing freebies on my website that you don't want to miss. That's at yogagoddessacademy.com. All right, so let's get into it. What is vinyasa and how in the heck would you teach it in a yoga class? so that your students actually understand it. All right, so first let's get into the three different meanings of vinyasa. The first meaning is that you are linking the breath to your movement. The second meaning is going from plank to chaturanga to upward facing dog or cobra and then up and back to downward facing dog. The third meaning is a type of yoga class. All right, so let's break down those three different meanings a little bit more. The first meaning, linking breath to movement. So here, whenever you are teaching this in a class, especially if you're a yoga teacher, I like to break it down and do it at the beginning of class so it can be a little bit more simple and easier to digest for your students. A really good pose that I like to do this in would be to inhale, reach your arms up overhead, exhale, side stretch. Inhale, arms up, exhale, other direction, and repeat that. So by linking the breath to the movement in something that's a little bit easier than say like a full on sun salutations, you will be able to understand it a lot more or your students will be able to understand it a lot more. Okay, the second meaning is going from plank, push forward, lower down, cobra or upward facing dog, and then hips up and back, downward facing dog. That whole little movement there is called a vinyasa. And this is a way that you can link different flows or different poses together. So maybe on one side you want to do warrior one, warrior two, side angle stretch or triangle. Then you would do a vinyasa in between and then do it on the other side and then do a vinyasa there and then rest in your downward facing dog. That's usually what happens in a, which brings us to the third thing, a vinyasa yoga class. So a vinyasa yoga class is going to include, yes, vinyasas. It's also going to include the linking with the movement to the breath. So there you have it. There are the three different meanings of vinyasa and also how you can break it down and teach it in your classes today. I hope it makes it a lot easier for you to understand. I know it'll help your students to understand it a lot better. Now go out there and share your voice and share your passion with the world. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, Yogi. Namaste.